Good morning, good morning. All right, we're gonna try this again. We are in the country mountains of Oklahoma. Yesterday, we were in Texas. Well, the last two days. So, I'm gonna show you. I did a live yesterday and we were in a beautiful lake and now we are, my girls are milking the cows. So, here is our friend's house. Well, here's some of their animals. I don't know if you can see it. They just fed all the animals. So. I'm gonna do this kind of fast because I don't know how long I'm going to have. <laughs> uh, but as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? I hope that you can hear me. I hope that you can see me. I did not plan this book club very well to start this week because we were traveling. And so you'll have to forgive me. I'm super sorry. Uh, but this is the book we're going through. Oh, my video is backwards. Should we fix that? As you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? And if you're reading the book, how are you liking the book? So we, I'm going to go through just the next four pages. And yesterday he's talking about choices and he's talking about moments in the book. So I would love to know, how is your morning? Where are you tuning in from? I can't see any comments. I really hope that you can hear me. If the internet's bad, we'll have to wait till Saturday for the next live. But, um, I would say this book is great. It's going to give you an awareness in the very beginning about choices and moments. And so you guys, my girls just got done milking the cow and they are, um, straining the milk. We are learning. They've got chickens and they're getting sheep today and they've got horses and all of the fun things. So our kids are loving it. So anyways, we are taught, we are on page 12 and he's talking about enjoying the moments. He's talking about moments and he says, one of the reasons that we are unprepared for the moments before us is that we are stuck in the moments behind us. I've talked about this before in other books and I've said this, oftentimes people will say, and I'm going to relate this to your health, right? People will say, it's because of my environment in the past. It's because of how I was raised. It's my parents' fault that I am overweight. It's my parent, I'm, and they're living in this past moment, right? Sorry, it keeps cutting out. We'll see if we can fix this. That we talk about blaming, shaming, justifying the fact of where we are at today. Why are we? Why are we dealing with the situation? Why are we overweight? Why are you the way that you? are. And so in another book, I've talked about don't blame, don't blame, don't shame, don't justify, right? But there's ownership. There's a part of, there's a part of ownership. There's a part of having a, an awareness. And then there's a part of going after your goals. I'm hiding in one of the little girls rooms because it wasn't working outside very well. I don't really, I don't have like my normal setup, so it's hard to prop the camera up. So here is what he talked about. He talked about choices and he says this, let's see if I can read it. One moment in the past continues to haunt every moment in your life. A mo don't let one moment, a moment in your history that steals from you all of the moments in your future. Is there a moment that you keep reliving over and over again? He said, to, rel to relive the past is to relinquish the future. If you are willing to let go of the past, then you are ready to step into your future. When you choose to remain stuck in the moments, you become incapable of seizing divine moments. And so really my question for you today, let me shut this door. So we, if you don't know, and you're brand new to the page, we have four girls. We're staying with a family, some of our very good friends we met uh, we met them about 15 years ago, and they have six girls. So there's 10 girls in this sweet little farm home, and we're all staying here, and it's just fun. Okay, so <clears throat> he, this beginning of the book is going to give you an awareness. Are you stuck? Do you feel stuck? Is it something that you're blaming from the past? Is it is it a moment in time that you're like, I wish I would have? Oh, I wish I would have started last year. I'm not going to do anything now. Oh, I wish I would have. Oh, it's not my fault. It's somebody else's fault. Partially, where you are today could be the result of parents or schooling or unawareness, right? As a kid, you're really not in control of your environment. But as an adult, there, there becomes a, 
a moment in time, and it could be today, where you've got to draw a line in the sand and you have to go, I'm not going to blame anybody else for where I am today. I'm going to, I'm done looking in the past and I'm going to move on into the future. I'm done holding this weight and I'm going to keep going. I'm done feeling like garbage. I'm done looking behind me. I'm going to move forward. But you have to decide that. You can't live there anymore, right? You have to have the awareness to keep moving. Um, the book is great. He tells a lot of stories in this chapter. I'm obviously not going to read them to you, but he says, if you're stuck in a moment, turn around, stop looking behind you and dare to look forward. There is a life that awaits you, an, an opportunity to explore and even create a future. Time was not created with the power to hold you back. And in the future, wait, and if the future terrifies you, then just take it one moment at a time. Moments carry the momentum of the past and fuel the momentum to the, for your future. Learning from the past informs and prepares you to seize the divine moments. At the same time, looking to the future positions and guides us to move into the moments with confidence. The present moment is where, is where the past and the future collide. And within a moment, there is momentum, momentous, momentum, wait, mom, mom. I don't know, that word's weird. Potential. Anyways, life is the sum total of what you do with the moments you are given. So we all continue. There's just other stories too, but those are the kind of the highlights. He's basically just talking about moments. Are you ready to move forward or are you going to stay stuck in the past? So we will start on page 19 tomorrow as long as my internet is working. We're here for one more day, so we're going to leave on Friday morning. Um... Oh, last thing. While moments are the context within which we live, choices chart the course and determine the destination. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to post that later. It's your choices, right? It's the, the way that you look at life, the people that were in your past, the things that you might feel like didn't set you up for success are ultimately going to guide your choices, good or bad. I feel like you can't see my face, but you have to decide, right? Ugh. should probably shower. Oh man, this is real and raw. You get to see me not prepared. I'm usually a prepared person. Like I've got my station and I've got my internet. And so, um, I want you to enjoy coming here. And so I hope that if you have the book, you're enjoying it. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Remember this book club isn't like a, I have to keep up with Stephanie. It's a guide. It's a, I hope you can come here and be inspired. I hope you can come and take one thought, one golden nugget to take with you into your future today, into your day, into your moments, giving you an awareness to go, I've been holding on to this. I'm going to move forward to this. I'm all done. I'm going to let it go. So that's all I have. Oh, I know I keep freezing.